Now, let us look at how the pesticides that affect the environment, how they cause disturbance. So, pesticides, they are used to control the pest. So, when the pest is growing, due to the growing population, due to the demand of food, large quantities of food is prepared, food is produced, large amount of food is grown. So, the food is grown in a very large quantity than the demand. So, this is stored because for the future use. So, that always we will be in an idea that what is next, what is tomorrow. So, for tomorrow's sake, we will save the food. The food is grown in a large quantity and it is stored. So, the problem is pest. So, when the large amount of food is available, then the number of pests also increases. They eat on, they depend on the food, they feed on the food, they grow in number. So, the growth the quantity of the food is grown, uh, the, the quantity of the food grown is increased, the number of pests also increased. So, what is the farmer's action here? They are using pesticides to control the pest. They do not want to grow less food because more food is needed for growing population, more food is grown, more crops are grown. The problem of pest is also growing. So, they are using pesticides and insecticides. So, by using pesticide, we are killing one particular animal in a food chain. So, here is an insect, here is some grains, so here is an insect and uh, here is uh, something, some a uh, frog. So, one animal is being killed in a chain, any one animal is being killed in a chain, the remaining animals, there is a disturbance. Some animals grow a very large number, some animals die due to lack of food, if the food chain is disturbed. So, the total ecosystem is disturbed, when the food chains are disturbed, the food web is disturbed. So, in this way by the effect of pesticides, food chains are disturbed. It leads to unwanted growth of certain plants or animals in large quantity and it leads to disappearance of certain animals completely. That is because of this excess uses of pesticides. That is one problem. Then what is the second problem that we face with the pesticides? This is a very dangerous one. The pesticides as we are applying they, if they are applied onto that uh, food or if they are used in the uh, fields due to the runoff water, they mix with the water, they enter into the water, these effluents they enter into the water. If the water is used to grow plants, they may enter into the plants. If the plants are eaten by animals, these pesticides may enter into the bodies of the animals. If that animal is eaten by some other animal, say for example, some fish has eaten some grass in the water which is contaminated. The pesticides enter the body of the fish. If you consume the fish, the pesticides may enter your body. So, this kind of accumulation of pesticides in the bodies of organisms, animals is called as bioaccumulation. This is called as bioaccumulation because these pesticides the pesticides that enter our bodies cannot be disposed of. Any other types of uh, different materials, other materials, uh, toxic materials can be detoxified by our liver and kidneys up to some extent. They are excreted in our excretory system, but our kidneys and liver cannot totally detoxify this kind of pesticides and others. So, they, they accumulate in our body, they are not disposed and they show their bad effects on the bodies. So, very dangerous and that dangerous situation it happens because of this kind of excess use of pesticides. So, among these pesticides, certain pesticides they have some life in which they degrade, but certain pesticides they continue in the bodies of organisms for a very long time. Most importantly that is mercury poisoning is very dangerous, mercury poisoning, lead poisoning and arsenic. So, not only from the pesticides from many kinds of industrial waste, this mercury, lead and arsenic are released from e-waste, mobile waste, computer waste also this kind of heavy metals like mercury, lead and arsenic are released which are polluting the water bodies. So, in urban areas, in industrial areas, in metropolitan cities close to the metropolitan cities like in Hyderabad, so in our state, there are so many factories are set up and they are releasing the effluents into the close by water bodies into the rivers, Musi river is totally polluted and contaminated by the effluents, pharmaceutical, industrial, agricultural wastes are released there. 
So one of such example is studied how the bioaccumulation takes place. That is Edulabad. Edulabad water reservoir. So Edulabad water reservoir is such a place where the water is polluted by the effluents like mercury and uh, cadmium and these kind of uh, toxic metals and they are accumulated into the bodies of the fish. So eating the fish leads to that transfer of the pesticides or transfer of this kind of heavy metals pollutants into the bodies of the humans.